Hi all, welcome to Salesforce in 5 minutes. In this video, we are going to talk more about a map view in an Einstein bot. But before getting started, if you really like my videos, I request you to please subscribe to this channel. So in the previous few video, the UI which you are looking at is much more difficult to understand because I find personally it a bit difficult to understand. So if I give a very naive person or a very person who has not been with me throughout the start to create this Einstein bot, he will find it a bit difficult to follow it, like how things are going on and what is happening after what and what decisions are being applied. It's quite difficult to understand because then he has to go to each of the dialogue one by one to check each of the things one by one. So, but we can solve this issue by using a map view. So right now, as you can see, this is a detail view. In detail view, you can see each of the dialogue and its information one by one. But what if you want to see an overall view? What exactly is this bot doing? To do that, what you can do is you can go to this detail part. Instead of detail, you can just select map. Now this is going to give you a much more better view what exactly the bot is doing. It's very similar to that of the flow, the screen flow or the record trigger flow or the flows that we are using, which gives an one shot view what exactly this bot is trying to do. So for an example, right now it's First of all, it will show the welcome screen. Next, after the welcome, it's going to go to this is test dialogue. So if you have been following with me throughout my videos, you will understand how the flow is actually going on. And that's what this map is also showing that first of all, this is a test dialogue. And in that test dialogue, we are trying to check whether the customer's response equals to close the case. And if he's trying to close the case, we are just executing a dialogue, close the case. That's it. And then we are waiting for the customer's response. On the other hand, if the customer inside, inside the same test dialog, if we try top types back view case details, we are showing the show case details dialog box. And then again, we are waiting for the customer's response. And let's say if this test, this is test dialog is not executed or both of the conditions are not satisfied. In that case, we are going to message one dialog box. And after the message one, we are going to condition one. And inside this condition, one, again, we are trying to check whether the last customer input or if the customer has typed equals to new. If new, then we are going to new dialog box. And again, we are waiting for the customer's response. And if nothing is satisfied, we are just going to condition not satisfied. So this can give you an overall one shot view what exactly the bot is doing. Also, you can view it at granular level. That is nothing but a detail view by clicking on each of this dialog one by one. So if I click on this dialog, that is close the uh, close the case dialog. You can easily find out what exactly this particular dialog is doing. It's asking a question, it's executing in a flow and all that stuff. You can again go back to the map view to get a one shot view of exactly what bot is what your bot is doing. So this is what about map view is and it is very important so that if a new person who has not been following throughout this Einstein bot comes to you and asks you what exactly this bot is doing, you can easily show this to help them understand what exactly this bot is doing within a few minutes. If you found this video helpful, I request you to please subscribe to this channel. 